Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's YBC, and I am back with a video. In this video, I'm going to bring to you guys a gameplay featuring a squad where I'm going to be using the fattest NBA player at each position in NBA 2K19, my team. I really was trying my best to hold in a laugh because this squad builder in this video is going to be a pretty funny one. But before we hop into it, guys, if you guys are new and you guys do enjoy, make sure you guys consider hitting that subscribe button. We're grinding hard every single day to 50,000 subscribers. Also, if you guys also do enjoy, make sure you guys do smash up that like button, crush the like button on this video. That would be greatly appreciated. Let's see if we can hit 800 likes on this video. Honestly, guys, I don't want any of you guys to take this video in the wrong way because this is just a fun squad builder. No, no disrespect to any NBA players. This is just a fun video and a funny video I thought I could produce. So right before we hop into the squad, I'm just going to be telling you guys how I formed the squad. I formed the squad, obviously, by the fattest players in the NBA. Not necessarily the heaviest players in the NBA because Yao Ming is the second heaviest card in the game. He's mainly heavy because he's seven foot six, but Yao Ming is not necessarily fat. You know what I'm saying? Al Jefferson, who might make this list, is heavy and fat. And there's no in between. Al Jefferson is gigantic. And Al Jefferson might make this list, but that's my point is that Yao Ming is heavy but not fat. Al Jefferson is both heavy and fat. When I do hop into the gameplay with this squad, guys, I'm gonna be summing them out like every two to three minutes. These guys are going to be getting exhausted throughout the entire game. Hopefully, you know, our team could do it when we do form them. Because you guys can see right here on the screen. We have a 13-man roster of blanks. 13-man roster of nobody. But like I said, we're going to be filling these guys up with the largest NBA players at every single position. Then we're going to begin the gameplay with that squad. So at the point guard position, guys, I honestly feel like sometimes he eats cheeseburgers before games. He is a Sapphire, and he is a Sapphire <laughs> Raymond Felton. This dude right here is ginormous. It wouldn't surprise me if he was pushing 300 pounds. I mean, he's six foot one, weighing in at 205 pounds. That is a complete lie. No way in the world is Raymond Felton weighing 205 pounds. He is the heaviest point guard. He is the fattest point guard in the NBA. So he made this starting roster spot at the point guard position. So you guys can see right here, Lance Stevenson is going to be our starting shooting guard now. And it was a very, very hard decision to find the biggest shooting guard in the NBA. The reason why I'm going with Lance Stevenson is because there's a certain point in Lance Stevenson's career where he was just, you know, kind of large and a lot heavier than a lot of other shooting guards in the game. As you guys can see right here, the definition in his arms just look completely gone. Like, he's not buff like, for example, say... Kobe Bryant, you guys can see right here, we compare Kobe and Lance Stevenson. Kobe Bryant is buff and yoked. This man, Lance Stevenson, it literally has no type of muscle in his arms. That's exactly why I'm going with Lance Stevenson at the shooting guard position. It was kind of hard for me to find a shooting guard who was big. Lance Stevenson made this list. Now moving on to the small forward of the team in the starting five. This one was hard as well. There's not many small forwards and shooting guards in the game who are kind of big, but we're going to go with the Carmelo Anthony right here. Because similar to Lance Stevenson, there was a point in Carmelo Anthony's career when he was just large. Like, he was pushing nearly 300 pounds. He's 6'8", weighing in at 240 pounds. But there was a point in Melo's career when he was pushing easily 280 to nearly 300 pounds. So he's going to be our starting small, small forward on this team. So you guys can see right now, at the starting power forward position, we have ourselves a Ruby Zach Randolph. There's rumors in the NBA that have went around in previous years where Zach Randolph only had a 12 inch vertical which is completely crazy he's standing at six foot nine weighing in at 260 pounds that's kind of realistic but i feel like he's slightly heavier than that this zach randolph card right here had to make the team i really really wanted glenn big baby davis on this team big baby davis should have been the starting power forward position but he's not in the game 2k does not have any rights to him Hopefully in the near future he can come in 2K. I don't know if he's been in previous 2Ks, but I really, really wanted Big Baby David to start at the power forward position. Unfortunately, he's not in the game, so he went with this Ruby Zach Randolph. So moving on to the center position right here. We have ourselves a Shaq, but an Amethyst Shaq, where 2K made him look like he's 500 pounds in this picture. I have no idea why 2K made him look literally obese, but th this Shaq right here, Looks like he's pushing 500 pounds. His weight says 325 pounds, standing in at seven foot one. But if we're being honest, it looks like this guy right here eats five burgers a day, five burgers for lunch. Like, it doesn't make any sense why 2K made this card right here gigantic. Because when we take a look at other Shaquille O'Neal cards, like some on the auction block or the pink diamond one, they look in fit. 
I understand this one right here is on a Cleveland Cavaliers where he was kind of past his prime, but still, 2K kind of really did him dirty on that card art. Now, moving on to the point guard off of the bench, our sixth man. We have ourselves a diamond point guard, Kyle Lowry. What would a big NBA squad builder be without Kyle Lowry? He had to make the team. Obviously, Kyle Lowry has been gone, going up and down in his weight throughout his career. Now, he looks pretty good, you know. He looks healthy, very healthy this season. But in previous years, he simply didn't. So, we had to make this list right here. Kyle Lowry. Moving on to the shooting guard off of the bench, we have ourselves a Ruby Marcus Smart. If I could find him, there he is. Marcus Smart has, same thing with Kyle Lowry, has been up and down in his weight through the course of his career. And now he's pretty much in fit, but there was a time in Marcus Smart career when he simply wasn't. And he had to make this list. And then again, it was really, really hard for me to find shooting guards in the game who are kind of big. Lance Stevenson and Marcus Smart are going to be two shooting guards, but it was very, very hard for me to find one that was really, really large. I went with Marcus Smart and Lance Stevenson on this roster at the shooting guards. Moving on to the eighth man, the small forward off the bench. We are actually going to be going with a power forward who is a sapphire and goes by the name of Derek Coleman. I believe he's an 84 overall. Yes, he is. It was just too hard for me to find a small forward who is large. And I went with this Derek Coleman right here because... He's simply large and he's six foot ten, so he can kind of play the small four position, kind of. But in this picture right here, he's not really looked that big. But I'm gonna pull up the NBA 2K17 picture next to him, the Sapphire Derek Coleman from NBA 2K17. Yeah, he had to make the list based off of that picture. Power forward off of the bench, we have ourselves an Amethyst Carlos Boozer, throwback elite for the Utah Jazz. I really, really wish that I could have big baby Glenn Davis on this team so I could shift. Zach Randolph to the bench for Boozer and an insert Big Baby Davis, but he's not in the game, and Carlos Boozer was large at some point in his career, so he had to make the list, but I really, really wish Big Baby Davis was on the team. But anyways, moving right along to the center position off of the bench, same thing with Kyle Lowry, I'll say it again. What would this squad be without a Ruby Al Jefferson? Al Jefferson huffs and puffs every single time he's on the court. There's no doubt about it. Like, he can go two minutes into the ball game and he'll get checked right out. It's that simple. This Al Jefferson was a gigantic man playing for the Indiana, Indiana Pacers. He got way out of shape. And he had to make this list, guys. Al Je Jefferson is definitely a big boy. So now you guys can see the last three players on the team. We have bronze cards. I'm just going to be rocking out with the 10-man rotation in this gameplay, in this video. You guys can see the squad right here that we have assembled. The fattest, the largest NBA players at each position in my team. So without further ado, let's take these guys in unlimited and see if we can get a W. Here we go, we found ourselves a matchup for this game and he has himself a pretty good squad. Kobe, James Harden, Pink Diamond, Pink Diamond KD, Amethyst AD, and a Diamond Bill Walston. Hopefully the big boys, biggest guys in the NBA can take care of business and get this W. Here we go guys, we won the tip and oh my goodness, all these guys on the court look literally so out of shape. Even Melo, probably the most in-fit guy on this roster, looks out of shape. Oh my goodness, it's definitely going to be a long game. Going to attack the paint right here. Melo all the way with the dunk. No, he got blocked. This man, Melo, can't even jump to dunk the basketball. Like, he jumped three inches in the air on that play. Melo's on a fast break right here. Redeem yourself, Carmelo Anthony. Redeem yourself. Look at Carmelo Anthony jumping five inches right there in the air to dunk that basketball home. At least we got the two points, though. Good defense. Melo's gone again. Keep running, Shaq. Shaq, don't stop running. Look at Shaq already stopping running. There you go. Run inside to the paint. Gonna get him in the air. Use your muscle. Use your strength to muscle past Bill Walton and get that layup. Oh, he missed that wide open. Good board by Shaq. And look look at how slow Zach Randolph is. Look at how slow everybody is on the court. Anyways, gonna run a nice pick and roll between Felton and Shaq. And we're not really going anywhere. Playing great defense. Actually tag it to the paint right here. Felton for the layup. Smothered is good. I did not expect that to go in at all, but we'll definitely take it. Pick and roll, Lance Stevenson and Shaq. Hand down, man down. Last four, three. Bang! Let's go, Lance Stevenson. For a team that is this, you know, gigantic, we're actually doing really, really good. Run, Lance. Run, Lance. Run, Lance. Look at Lance hustling. Losing a couple pounds right there on that dive for that basketball. I knew I wasn't going to get it, but this man, Lance Stevenson, showed a little bit of hustle in him. And look at Melo. Look at Melo, Melo diving, losing a couple pounds as well. <laughs> Way to hustle, Melo. Let's give it to Shaq right here. In the post. Try to utilize our post a little bit. Oh, we got him jumping in the air. What are you jumping for? Shaq in the paint. Missing it. Airball, actually. Getting our own airball. And Shaq makes that layup to go. And I can feel definitely like the stamina bar on our team is definitely depleted already in this ball game. I'm going to get in the bench unit. This is man, Raymond Felton just got blown by by Kobe. 
I'm gonna get the bench unit checking in here really, really soon. Good boy by Zach Randolph in the paint. We got Lance Stevenson on the left wing. Attack right here with Lance and nice zero layup. Drawing a foul and getting an and one on the break. Let's go. And I love that about Lance Stevenson. How he's so energetic. Flexing to the crowd. Let them know what's up. And now we're going to knock down a free throw to convert the and one. Good D by Al Jefferson. Getting a steal. We're on a fast break. But we can't really fast break it because our guys are too slow. Lowry's on the right wing. Bang. Knocking down that three. We can't really run any fast breaks. Our team is too slow. Nice move by Kyle Lowry and screen. Got him for a nice mid-range. Kyle Lowry, lightly contested, gets that to go. My boy Lowry is feasting right now. Seven points early on and he's doing his thing off the bench. Al Jefferson right here in the paint. Need another two points. Just like that, Al Jefferson has his takeovers, which is post-scoring. And that's it. He's down 94 overall. Let's lock this up. There we go. We're going to be up by eight, excuse me, nine points now heading into the second half. I think it's time we can bring the starters back in. I can tell as a bench unit is definitely hustling. Puffin and Puffin. Let's go. Good steal by Melo. But again, we can't run a fast break because look at how slow Zach Randolph is. They caught up with Zach Randolph. Gonna go up with this one. And we got blocked. This all good. Raymond Felton with the board. And Raymond Felton gets stripped. Oh my goodness. This lineup is not good at all. Hopefully we can play some defense. Good defense. Way to get back. Lively contest. That's off. Good board by Melo. Lance Stevenson is gone. So now Melo can't even make the pass down the court. This lineup sucks. <laughs> this squad right here is definitely hard to win with. Good board by Lance, but we can't run a fast break. Although we do have Raymond Felton wide open for mid-range. That's a green light by Raymond Felton. Let's go. Way to run the floor. And it's rare of me, it's rare I'm going to say that. Because none of these guys like to run at all, run the floor at all. But good stuff from running the floor, Felton. And look, three minutes into the second half. Look at Shaq's stamina bar. It's like nearly halfway gone. Good defense on Iverson. Beautiful defense. Shaq with the board. Running very low on stamina. Kicking up to Lance Stevenson. Lance Stevenson can attack the paint. He has a Gatorade symbol next to him. But that doesn't matter. He's going all the way with a two-handed dunk. Good boy right there from Zach Randolph. You know we're going to give it to right here again. Melo is stopping pop from deep again on a break. That's lightly contested. Is off. Look at Stevenson with the board. Hustling for once. We're finding Raymond Felton up top. Catch and shoot for Felton. Bang! Let's go, Raymond Felton. Good board from Shaq. Could make the pass down the court. Nope. Oh, we got lucky. We got lucky he tipped that pass. Melo all the way with the layup. We got very, very lucky my opponent tipped that bad pass. We're going to likely be up by 20 if we can get a stop right here. Good D, good D, good D. Lock up. Oh, that's going to go in. Yes, it is. It's all good, though. We're probably going to be up by 17 heading into the fourth if we don't get this to go. Yeah, we're going to be up by 17 heading into the fourth. We pretty much got the W in the bag. I know it's really early for me to say that, but I don't see myself losing in this fourth quarter. Give the Shaq up top right here and have him blow past Bill Walton. And he's getting a ferocious slam. Duck to go. Our guys just slamming the basketball home every single play at this point. Gonna give it to Shaq again right here in the post on Bill Walton. You like that Hall of Fame bruiser. He's going up with this. And that's an easy layup off the glass with the left hand. We're still up by 17 points with two minutes left to go. Our guys are exhausted. I'm going to foul him and get the bench unit in here. I tried to get him in at the start of the fourth quarter. They didn't want to come in, I guess. I guess the bench unit was still too tired. Marcus Marto comes up with that steal. Getting it to Kyle Lowry. Don't get blocked. Don't get blocked. There we go. Oh, it was off. But Boozer with the board. Getting up to Lowry. In the right corner. Lowry. Think it's dagger time. Let's go, Kyle Lowry. That three is in. You know, it's a 20-point lead with two minutes left to go. And that's officially game. So, yeah. GG to my opponent right here. We're going to get the ball in. And with seven seconds left now. Five seconds. Four. Three. We're just holding out the clock. So, we got this W. GG to my opponent. He did play a good one, but this squad right here, the biggest squad, the fattest squad in the game, is too much for him. They came out with the W. Now, moving on to the boss score right here. Carmelo Anthony led the team with 17 points. Lance Stevenson had 16. Shaq with 14. Kyle Lowry with 10. Al Jefferson with 8. Raymond Felton with 7. Zach Randolph with 2. Boozer with 2. Marcus Smart did not score. Derek Coleman did not score. And obviously, the few bronze players didn't really play and didn't score either. So yeah, guys, this squad was a lot of fun to use. I'm surprised that we walked out of here with the W. This squad right here was honestly a very, very hard squad to use. Because on every single fast break that my opponent had, I did not get it. I did not get a stop. And on every single fast break I had, I did not get a bucket. So the majority of our points came from a half-court offense. And I had to make sure, you know, I was taking wise shots because my opponent, if I took a bad shot, would have a fast break. And I had to be smart with my decision making as well. If I threw a turnover, he would have a fast break. And with his players like KD and all of them. They just burn past all mine. But all, like I said, we did come out of here with the W, and this was a successful squad build. Like I said, I apologize if you guys took it in the wrong way. If you guys want to see the skinny squad builder, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for all the support. Thank you guys for watching, and it's YBC, and I'm out. Peace.